Hi. So, you're probably wondering what am I doing under the hood of my car? Well, I'm spot welding some batteries. All right, and look, it looks pretty dope. Look at this. It looks fake professional. Pretty good, All right? Now, look at here. Look at here, look at here, this ratchet thing. In here. Listen, right? When I hit the switch, you can hear the relay. I knew you heard that. Let me do it again. Oh, my fingers, ash, man, I've been working. You hear that? <laughs> okay, so basically what happens is when I hit the switch, it connects with this and it disconnects with the battery. And like this is charged up every time. And then once I hit the switch, it connects to this, this connects to the relay, the solenoid. This is the ATV one. And then once this discharge, it opens up for like a quick second and until this goes out right and then once it opens up it sends a burst right here and then this is how it looks like i'm pretty surprised look pretty clean pretty clean pretty clean and also powerful that things like this can happen too oh and you know yeah and okay now look at this one right where okay this thing about spot welding if you like here you know it's like across so, like the energy is, is traveling like from here to here so it could meet like it's crossing over which, which means like it's flying from like here to here you know around it so it could meet so it could go through the copper tips and everything and so here if we put it here on this one it's not going across so like the transfer is very short so like here you can see how much power is shooting out and it's a very um what you gonna call it it's a very solid connection look that one was very a lot but yes that one was a perfect example of how much it could push out but let's do it again ah shoot See? powerful shit it's better to have it crossing over i'm gonna have to fix that it's better to have it here where like the energy transfer is really shorter um it's it's much more space to transfer see and it's a very solid connection Like right here the transfer is very short and it's pushing out that burst like boom so i'm gonna have to fix that um make that stronger so it doesn't go out in the future but you see boom pretty good pretty nice and here again like spot welding you had to get a feel of the whole thing and get used to it get used to what to what spot welder you were using but this one they call them tap welders same thing right look at this. Wow, look at this clean right here let's hope it doesn't happen again see this one it didn't happen, but it looks pretty nice. Look at this one. It looks like it's straight from like Elon Musk's whatever. Uh -huh. Ugh. Pretty good, pretty good. And this is just fun. But I have to give this a few seconds really quick so the capacitor could charge up. And then, yeah. And that's what, and, and that's what we got today. And then look, look at this battery that I'm building. This is for an Arrow battery. One of my friend has one. Ah, and I'm doing him this favor. And then here I am building this. And then I'm using this. And I'm like, all right, let me test it. And then I just ended up just doing this whole thing. Cause look, man, like this is pretty clean. This is pretty good. So here I am, I'm probably gonna end up doing it all. But I also have a 12 volt battery. Um, I had to do some more work to it and everything, but I have to go back on my battery, on my lithium ion battery to see 
to make sure that this works fine because um yeah it was just wasn't pushing out the power that much but um i added more wire so hopefully that was what the problem was so when i do my tests on my um on the personal battery that i use i'll see all right cool let's continue Ooh. all right thank you guys thank you for watching and have a good one And the best thing I appreciate about this design is how you hold it, right? You hold it, and then you just put pressure as much as you want, because this is solid here, and then this, whichever finger you feel most comfortable with, and this is not gonna move, right? And it, uh, this is not gonna move, and you can move it to as little as you want as little as you want look at this right and then once you hold it here you just press the button whenever you want to Pow! and that's it it didn't even move it's all about the handle baby about it's all about the handle but i saw in research that they sell those one that you push and it's just Pow! i'm gonna get me one of those <laughs> i've been practicing using it and it's kind of growing on me look at these this is perfect this here i had a little fight with it the explanation behind that is that the tip was dirty it was like silver was caught in there but learned the trick you can clean it by just you see, the, this is the silver that was stuck in there. See it? But you can clean it by just um, connecting these pieces on wood, right? Or concrete, but wood is best. Um, and yeah, and that cleaned it. And look! Wow! Look at that connection. And trust me, it's solid. Look at this. I'm pulling. Um... It lifted, it lifted up the whole battery. This is a solid connection. Wow. Awesome. I learned here that the secret is to make sure that all the connections are solid, all your wires, and make sure that, um, yeah, every time you're so, um, sorry, every time you are welding, you make sure that your wires are not getting warm. Look at how beautiful this is. Wow. And especially the way that it's built, right? And look, this is the trigger right here. Wow. Right? So um, and then another thing too. Me, I leave the tabs. I leave the tabs. So make sure that it's always flat, right? So I use this. Well, before I put the before I put this on, I just make sure that it's flat. If it's not flat, then the connection will not be solid. Yeah. Right here, I'm just putting all them on. They're all on. So now I'm just gonna go around and make sure that they're all solid. Make sure. You see how I put one in each? It's just to hold it. And then now I'm gonna go back to finish it up. You know what I mean? Let's so make sure the job is complete. Thank you for watching.